Good evening. Tonight, I try to talk to you all about something that is a distraction and a need for all of us. First, the distraction is the lack of time we put on this subject. The need is something that we all need as Christians. It is something that Ricky has played with for the last month right here, on and off, directly and indirectly right there, and probably most of the time, if you really think about it, because he's a preacher of the word. As many of us know right there, that we have challenges from time to time, things that distract us. Tonight, I'm going to talk to y'all tonight, basically, about the challenges of studying the scripture. So we talk about the scripture tonight, the scripture, the word, the Bible, these are things that all mean the same thing. Many times uh, I have talked with older people, younger people, people that are my age and those of other ages that don't assign to older, younger, or closer to my age. Those people right there have always had questions. Sometimes I'm able to answer those questions. Sometimes I go to other people and I, over the years, have been greatly uh, enthused by reference material, finding those things to the point where you have exhaustive concordances. If you get those types of, of reference material, me being a history person right there, exhaustive concordance, especially for the Bible, is every single word you have and where it's at right there, and it goes very thoroughly. Of course, that gets really hard to find what you're looking for sometimes. Sometimes you need subject-based references. A lot of times when uh, different people, um, different ages, especially I think our middle school age right there, that. Uh, or baptized to become Christians, they get a uh, reference book that has a bunch of different subjects in there to look at those. Why do we do these things for? To find the scriptures, to look for those things. A lot of times we get distracted from the Bible. A lot of times we forget the need for the word. Uh, we'll use Ricky as an example. I don't think he ma uh, matter, uh, matters me using him too much right here, but a lot of times he gives us challenges. Most of, if not all these challenges, is to renew ourselves or to look into the scriptures to make ourselves better as Christians or to become Christians. So I will be paraphrasing a few different places tonight right here since our time is limited. And I, I dislike this, but I challenge you to, to read these or to come back. But these are some that we know if you've studied the Bible. If you haven't studied as much right here, go back and look at these. Come see me and we'll go to these right there. Uh, Ricky has danced on this subject for a good while because this is going to be a lot in Romans and Timothy and in, and in Titus and, and a lot of this wraps around uh, James. And we'll tie this in at the very end very quickly. Romans 12, 1 and 2, talk about your reasonable service. Renewing your mind is the first one. A lot of times we forget about renewing our minds using the scriptures. A lot of times we get caught up in the world. Those that are in college, those that are in high school, those that are working right now, those that are retired, we get caught up in whatever we're doing. It could be from grandkids to whatever's on TV to a sport or us. We get caught up in those things, and we forget about looking into the Word. Secondly, in 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17, it talks about reproof, correction, many other things too, but reproof, correction, using the Scriptures to do that with, to equip ourselves for every good work. If we're not doing good work, if we need correction, if we need reproof, look to that. And when people point to that for us, make those corrections in our own, in our own lives. It's hard to do that right there. A ref, ref, reflective practices is what they talk about in, in graduate work is where you come back and you look over and over again at what you're doing to make yourself better. That there's never an end time uh, in your or teaching or whatever you're doing that you don't look at doing something just a little bit better or a lot better. Also in 2 Timothy 4, uh, 1 through 5, be ready with a word. Talk about being long suffering. We have that readiness with the word right there. We got to study that word. We got to be in that word, in those scriptures to be able to get those. And it also says, watch out for not enduring sound doctrine. How do we not endure sound doctrine? By not doing what the Bible tells us to do. And we don't know what the Bible tells us to do unless we read what it tells us to do. And then finally, right there is uh, looking towards the teachers, especially in Titus 2, where it talks about the older teaching the younger what is proper and sound doctrine. A lot of times we overlook this. Um, uh, I, I, I laugh because I've been fortified on, on all sides of my family in, in many generations of being in the church. And it's just something that's always been there for me. And even the older men, but I always think about even in times right here when I have questions, 
that I had people to go to, whether it my, it's my grandparents, my great aunts, my uncles, these different ones right here. And also the humbleness that I've been humbled many times because we did Bible Bowl in Marion County with about five or six other counties in the area. And the older people would just literally beat us to death because they knew their scriptures. And, and so it's like, how do we get there? It's really simple. You study your Bible. How be it? I was not good at that time with, the, with doing the memory work and stuff on those lines. But as I got older, it got easier. You keep working at it. I know I've, I've talked with many of the young people from time to time and uh, about doing different things right here. And it's like, why do we do this for? And sometimes they'll say, uh, it's because he said so. And we need to get to the point, it's because that's what the Bible said for us to do. And that's with all of us in our lives right there. We, and yet again, going back to the main point of being distracted, we distract ourselves. But going to this second one, uh, uh, Titus 2, look towards the older Christians to, to study and learn from. And I even challenge you more to learn with them, to ask questions, to sit down and have Bible studies with them. They probably don't know everything in the Bible, but I'm guaranteed they know some things, and those some things can really probably help you out in the future. And I know a lot of times we try to do that here where we have, sometimes we have older teachers with younger uh, aides they have there to sh watch and learn how to teach like some of the other classes, but that doesn't stop you there. You can do that with, with this, the other classes as you get older. I know there's rotations we try to do here and all this kind of stuff to challenge ourselves, to move forward. And that's the, the last part is I want to challenge you right there to know the Bible and to progress with that information. In education, you're trying to progress towards a degree that hopefully is going to get you a job and it's going to make you have the information you need to, to move on to the next le level. Same as, as being in education, same thing with us today in this education of the Bible is to be lifelong learners. Always soaking the word in, learning more about, use it to our lives, apply it to our lives. And I see those impacts in my life of when I let, let the, the word penetrate our mind and body and do the things that we need to do and to go to the last point. Uh, I really liked uh, Ricky's a few weeks ago when he had these different quotes. Uh, we come from the same area, so a lot of people he's quoting from, I, I've heard some of them, and it's nice to hear the others like, that's what he would say. And so it's in, enjoyable to hear that. Um, there's two ones, I don't know who exactly they were, they came from, but they, they've been stuck for a long time in a lot of the stuff that, uh, in the scriptures. One is, you read the word, know the word, teach the word. Or, in other words, read the Bible, know the Bible, and teach the Bible. Preach, self explanatory. It's a lot in the Bible right there, and it's just so straightforward. Also, if you don't make time for studying the Bible, you will never have time to study the Bible. And that goes back to, I'm sure it's from, uh, if it's not from my dad or some other people that he, that he heard it from over the years, if you don't make time for something, you never have time for something. So, this is a challenge tonight to not be distracted, to use that need, the need for the word. No matter how young you are, no matter how old you are, or everyone else in between, to study, learn more about the Bible. If anyone's subject to the Lord's invitation, come now and together we stand and sing.